Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Hopefully, we're about to get another challenge here. I've been hunting some wolves off camera uh, with the knife, and that's actually really difficult, but not for the reason you might expect. It's not difficult um, actually killing them with the knife, especially if it's one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one. The challenge... Oh, there's a bird there. Ah. Right, so let's get you a couple of times. And let's get you a couple of times. Does that count? Yes, sharpshooter rank. That'll do. Yeah, here's some wolves. So like I say, the challenge isn't uh, necessarily fighting the wolves per se. Especially one-on-one. -on -one. The challenge is actually getting to them. Right, so that will increase our maximum dead eye. Right, come on, Wolfie. We literally only need to kill like one more. So this gang hideout is deserted. All right, that's fine. Yeah, this is what's been eating up all of my time, really. Just trying to get to the wolves because as soon as you get near them they run away uh, every now and again one will turn back on you there they are come on I literally think I only need to kill one more come on friend come on don't run no need to run not going to hurt you much okay see if we can corner them over here and they're going to have to come back at me surely Surely? No? There we go. Yeah, these are definitely... I think these are definitely wolves. No, that's... I'm not even sure if that's a wolf. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh, hello. I guess we can help the lawman out. I suppose that's worth a little bit of extra money. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll, I'll sort the wolves out... Uh, off camera because it's just kind of a nightmare right there we go you happy lawman yeah you're welcome any shot him in the leg hey we got a lot of honor for that a little bit more fame yeah honestly I like that's such a frustrating bloody achievement if you are uh, or challenge if you ask me just trying to get a freaking wolf um i think i just got lucky with the ones that i actually managed to get so if we look we're in gap tooth ridge right now but if we look at our journal um so we need to shoot the hats off two different people's heads well, that's that's not difficult Kill five wolves with your melee knife and collect five pelts. Yeah, so I think obviously that bar's a little bit hard to. I think there's two left to do. I'm not really sure how there's two left to do because, to my knowledge, I only actually knifed one. The other one I kicked by accident and it died. So, I, you know, I'm not going to knock it. I'm not going to knock it at all. But that seemed a little bit questionable to me. Anywho. Let's get back. Should probably try the five finger fillet as well. Now, I'm not 100% sure what constitutes as completing it. Because if I remember correctly, I don't know if you can actually complete those games. Anyway, here's Henry West. Hello, my dear. You good? Good. Let's rent a house for the night. Or at least rent a bed for the night, I should say. Out of the way, pal. No, you didn't mean it. That's right. Right. Let's drop a save. And carry on with our day. Now, let's go see what Mr. West wants. Ah, oh, Nigel. Liars, cheats, and other proud Americans. 
don't know where he keeps making this shit from either. Uh, Mr. Marston, how are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. Seth of the yes. Dead. Interesting fellow. You don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. Uh huh. Oh, very interesting. Look, you tell any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull and feeding the vultures myself. Uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that <laughs> is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this... Being America, <coughs> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Money? <coughs> what are you talking about? Oh, oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. <coughs> and I need some danger money. So <coughs> let's sell some more of these cures. <coughs> Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? <laughs> no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. Racing? The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> but come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> okay, uh, but why are you still making that poison? Alright. Now we can skip to destination, but I think there might be some dialogue, maybe. Seth is an interesting there we go. Fellow, is he not? I wouldn't say interesting. More deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. Nah. I have a soft spot for life's Watson and Jetson. The connection with them more like, you and Seth have a lot in common. You both rob people for one. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. <laughs> oh, my dear boy. Nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk who's mended his ways. Nah. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. A Robin Hood with spurs. Oh, romantic. You expect me to believe that poppycock? <laughs> Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me. Yeah, there is some wisdom there. Kind of. Now, is that it, or is there more? It is quite nice to actually, um... Ride shotgun for once. Nice to be in the back seat. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Anyway, John, oh, there we go. Let's talk about 
the race. Yes. Yes, the race. Oh, come on. Time to purge that negativity and start thinking like a winner. You're going to have a whale of a time. They've been holding these chariot races in New Austin for as long as I can remember. And we need the money. We do. Why are you racing it? Me? Oh, no. Not my thing at all. You have already proved yourself more than adept at the reins, my dear boy, and under some stress. These races are Byzantine in their ferocity, and the terrain is treacherous. People do just about anything to win. Men die. It's a marvelous spectator sport. <laughs> Sounds like fun. And you are my wild card, John. They won't be expecting you. So what's your role in all this? Think of me as your spiritual guide. Do I have to? You are a free man, of course, but I strongly recommend it. Imagine, just for today, you are not an aging bounty hunter, and I am not an avant-garde business pioneer. No, sir. Today, we are gladiators. Motivation, <laughs> dear boy. I'm definitely feeling motivated to get the hell out of here. <laughs> gladiators. Ugh. What nonsense this guy spouts. Very well written character though. Well, aren't they all? I think this is uh, Rockstar when it was, you know, almost, well, I'd say at its peak, but to be fair, Red Dead 2, banging game. All right, looks like we can't skip anymore. Because we're here, ideal. Uh-huh. Uh, this is going to go horribly wrong, isn't it? Okay. So, I guess we're not riding around in that. Which is laden with goodies and... Yeah, probably not a great idea. Okay. Ah. Uh. Can I not use my horse? Oh god, here we go. I'd rather use my own horse, I'll be honest. But that's fine. Out of the way, yokels. Okay, I mean... That was miraculously easy to actually steal the lead there. Alright, let's conserve the stamina as much as we possibly can. Oh, shit. Let's try not to do cartwheels with this thing. Oh, look. There's more spectators. Ooh, that's fine. That's fine. Nothing to worry about. You're right, horse. I think I prefer the aesthetic as well. Over GTA. That's not to say GTA 5 wasn't good. I actually really enjoyed GTA 5. The story, anyway. Don't really give two shits and a fuck about the multiplayer. But that's standard. Right. Hold. Oh, so we can move our cart backwards. Well, let's hope that we never need to. I actually completely forgot there was racing in this. Well, I, you know, I knew there's horse racing kind of be a missed opportunity if there wasn't but uh, racing like this alright we're making some good time here I think we are kind of way out in the lead as well I think maybe this horse has been drinking a bit of that tonic actually let's hope that he hasn't not sure how good Mercury is for horses, but maybe the cocaine has given him a bit of pep. Certainly seems like it. Come on, horse. He's slowing down a bit. <sighs> you don't want to be going to the glue factory now. I'm glad old Wes Dickens isn't on this thing. Otherwise, we'd be sinking into the mud. Oh, 
I thought this was going to be way harder. But we're not way... Oh, I was going to say, we're not there yet. Uh, yeah, we kind of are, actually. Whew. How much scratch does that get us? Hell of a race, mister. I'll take care of this cart for Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we be a hasty retreat. Why? What did you do? Maybe you gave the other horses that I tonic of yours. Not the friendliest bunch, are they? It was fun, they John. They are racing very seriously in these parts. And your participation was not entirely pre-approved. That was clear. <laughs> ah, sports, war, and heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. Uh-huh. I'd get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too late. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Well, I mean, we didn't really swindle them. We swapped the rider out at the last minute, but, uh, you know, it's still the same horse and everything. It's fine. Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Uh. Irish, yes. He's an interesting kind of fellow. And he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. Uh, great. An alcoholic arms dealer. <laughs> what could be better? Well, I mean, there's wisdom there. Hopefully you can get pissed up and uh, give us a good deal. Can't go back on the deal once it's shaken on. We got three dollars for that. Three. Ugh. Right, well, quite. I, ooh. We could go meet Irish, but... Uh, Mr. Nigel West Dickens is actually a little bit closer. So, let's go. Oh, dogs. Oh. Alright, whatever. Right, let's go see Nigel. Squeeze in another mission. Before we have to part ways once more. Oh god, it's so like every time um, I get on this horse, I forget just how fast this thing is. Let's go. Like the creeping dark when the sun sets, she moves. I say she. Uh, sure. Oh, you killed those men, did you? Well. Um. You know what? You had your chance. So let's kill these two guys. If you didn't kill those guys, I would have just captured you. But. For killing men of the law, you die. Yeah. Not a problem, sir. Oh, we only got four bucks for that. Seems a little bit stingy. Yeah. Saying that, if we harvest up these corpses, Steth style. Yeah, we actually get more money from harvesting the corpses than we actually got for the mission reward. Which is, well, questionable. I guess we can skin these animals. I suppose, why not? I don't know if in Mexico horse meat is worth more. Probably not. Come on. I know it's worth very little in armadillo. If 
I remember correctly, there's a donkey, or there are donkeys that we can get in Mexico. And um, from what I can remember, they're about as good as you'd imagine. That guy had pistol ammo on him. Really? Why? <laughs> Maybe he didn't actually have a pistol on him. No, we don't want to ride the horse. We want to rob... Ooh. That sounds like a coyote mind. Alright, fine. Let's go. Yeah, that's that looked like a fox. Kind of hard to tell when you're blazing past at breakneck speed. All right, mid, you're good. You're good. You won't be going to the glue factory, not yet. Ooh, cougar. Cougar. Yep, you can see just how nasty cougars are. No, we don't want to shoot. We don't want to shoot the horse. Alright. Just save you guys. That was sketchy as fuck. Yeah. They're, it's really annoying when you're in cougar like country and they just rip you straight off your horse. That's a bad time. Whoa. Killed the horse. Unlucky. Especially with just one swipe as well. Well, I guess the horse doesn't need its meat or its skin anymore. So, waste not, want not, and all that. Alright. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. I can hear him. Yep, there he is. You know what, dude? You just made your final mistake. I do like these magic bullets that seem to go around corners. Just skin this one. And then get out of here before more turn up. Otherwise we'll be here all day. I'm guessing as soon as you kill um like an environmental enemy here. Like another one just instantly spawns. I think that's what's going on. I don't know. Anyway. Yep, look, there was another one back there. <laughs> but uh, we'll be here all day. And we don't want to become a millionaire too quickly either. Oof, Dickens. Alright, what scam have you got going this time? Can a swindler change his spots? Uh, probably not. Mr. Marston, sir, John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, 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 so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> You read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. You <laughs> give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good sir. Come and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> <laughs> what an odd fellow that Dickens is. Alright, John. What could possibly go wrong? 
Ah, we're doing this old chestnut again. Okay. I wonder how long this is going to keep working. Oh, drunk as well. Hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, Fraud. swelling. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right <laughs> now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time to take a business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day. <laughs> what at all? Alright, uh, this is bad, but this gives us an opportunity to shoot some hats. Not sure if that actually counts as us shooting hats. Is it not? Oh, what gives you that impression, Mr. Dickens? Possibly the fact that we've murdered all these... Well, let's be fair. Probably fairly innocent people. They're only a little bit angry that you've been cheating them out of their money and swindling them. Kind of an un cruel and unusual punishment, really. St. Homobonus has not been looking down on me favorably. Who? Homobonus, the patron saint of businessmen. I'd say he's giving you your just desserts. No, poppycock. Those inmates were clearly informed of my refund policy. You could only shit uh, off this hat just so fell off. before they decided it's their turn to pull down the pan. <laughs> A crude metaphor in every sense of the word, my dear boy. You leave the business to me. Do I try to tell you how to rob Oh, hello. Robert Banks felt more honest than this. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty bad. I'm shocked, my boy. Not gonna lie. We're gonna leave this in a box. Well, I was gonna say, talking of boxes, the Undertaker business must be pretty good. Perfect place to be an Undertaker. So we're just murdering innocent civilians that just want their money back, or I suppose this is <laughs> self-defense. I don't know. Criminals defending themselves, is that still law-abiding? Oh god, how many bullets you got there? Not really lucky for me though, because now I'm murdering hundreds of people, which don't get me wrong, it's fun and we enjoy that. But we are certainly thinning the population of New Austin. Yeah, well. I don't know. I'd say they're pretty astute. Yeah, they certainly got your number, Dickens. Oh, bloody hell. What's going on at the front? Ooh. Well, don't you worry about it, sunshine. They really want you dead. They really want you dead. I am up against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. <laughs> plebeian ignorance. My eye is most certainly out. Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will Uh, I think they are already dead, John. That's why their lifeless bodies are rolling around. And now we're celebrating the fact that we're murdering our way through the place. Uh, why are we slowing down? Can't help but notice we were slowing down there for a minute. 
You've got one job, Mr. Dickens, and that's keep this thing rolling. One job. Yeah, well, still sitting next to the biggest moron. Damn, I think we've murdered the whole population of Chola Springs. Mm-hmm. Doesn't feel like we are. Can't this thing go any faster? Well, somebody's trying to get us. Yeah, Nigel, I think it's about time you got rid of this snake oil of yours. It's certainly not doing you any favours at all. Or at least we could be selling these people that we're killing. Our elixir. Life-saving tonic. One way to take the last few coins from their pockets. Well, I can't actually move any faster, so what you just said there was pretty redundant. Though your horses are pretty stressed, rightly so. Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. Yeah, but you didn't get any money. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Uh, yes, yeah, so perhaps we should shelled the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. He's got a point. And what we're asking for does require some uh, serious financial aid. Right, well, I think it's about time we call that a video. So this is where he's got his little hiding shack, huh? I wonder if he makes all of his elixirs and tonics here. There's his own little camp. Oh, this is cozy. Little bedroll. Oh, has he got any money to loot? He does. Sorry, Dickens, but I'm losing my patience with you. I'm going to help myself to everything you own. Anyway, can we actually set up a... We can camp here. Excellent. So, I guess when we come back, guys, we're going to continue helping Mr. Dickens. Because I suppose we have to make him some money. You know, something to lubricate his uh, interest in helping us in return. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.